Hello, um, it is Wednesday, November 4th, and I'm going over the daily work for the day. So we have our ELA and math pages for the day. You also have your number of the day. And let me just try and go through this really. Okay, and then you're also going to have an interactive book where you're going to have to um, cut out some facts and opinions and you need to decide if these statements are a fact or an opinion. So, for example, I like the ocean. Now, if you can say there is um, information that proves that everybody likes the ocean, then that would be considered a fact. But if that is just your opinion and only you maybe like the ocean and maybe, you know, your aunt or your brother or another sibling or a family member doesn't like the ocean, but that's just your opinion. So then if that is just your opinion, then that would be cut out and glued here. So if um, fish live in the ocean, now, do they live in other places? Well, yeah, they do. But we're not talking about, you know, a goldfish that could live in maybe like an aquarium. We do know for a fact that fish do live in the ocean. So then that would be a fact. So you're going to cut those out and place them on the correct um, column that they belong in. Then you're going to go into your uh, lesson of the week for, I mean, your lesson of the day for lesson 4.2. And so the essential question is, is how can you use an addition fact to find the answer to a subtraction fact? So you're going to use uh, base 10 blocks to model the problem. So draw the cubes to show your work. So the first one says that there are, that Joey had five cubes and Sarah gave him more cubes. Now Joey has 12 cubes. How many cubes did Sarah give him? Now, so what you want to do is we see that this is an addition equation. So we're going to have to somehow move these things around to make this a subtraction equation. So the opposite of addition is subtraction. So what we need to do is we need to find this missing number here. So what we can do is we could take the total amount because this number 5 plus this missing number equals 12. So we could take the 12, so we could take the 12, and we can minus the five, because we already know that there are five, but we need to know this missing number. So 12 minus five, and then what would that equal? So you need to draw a, a picture to go with your problem. So we have 12, All right, so I have 10 here, we have our base 10, and we have two more for 12. So then we're gonna minus the five. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And then how many do we have left? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 12 minus five equals seven. So that means that five plus seven equals well. All right, then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to continue on with the same. So what is 9 minus 4? So you have to think about that. What is 9 minus 4? So 4 plus 5 equals 9. So then 9 minus 4 would equal 5. And you're going to continue on with this page um, going on to page 158. Um, and then you will, you actually will continue on. So you're going to do page 157, 158. You're also going to do page 159 and also page 160. You're going to get some practice in your word problems. Then you're going to do a secret message. And then you're going to do your ABC order. So you're going to take all these words and put them in ABC order. And that is what your work packet is for Wednesday. I will be putting a math on the spot video also to go with the math lesson. And I hope this helps. Thank you.